Hello, everybody, and thank you all for being here. I appreciate everybody for being here. And again, my name is Irene Huerta, and I am the wife of Gabriel Huerta, and my husband has been in Pelican Bay Prison for 28 years. And I stand here as a proud wife because uh, he endured all three hunger strikes, and the last one he did was 60 days, and he did not want to stop. You know, he, he doesn't trust CDC. He wanted something in writing, you know, as a wife, I begged him. We knew what was going to happen. I, I, I told him and I says, you know, CDC's not gonna budge. Please, you know, let us continue the fight. You know, so here we are today. You know, we're continuing that fight and I thank all the family members for being here. You know, back when this started in July of 2011, you know, <laughs> there we were in downtown LA in the federal building, you know, and that's when I met Dolores. You know, and we knew then we had to do something. As a family member, we just felt so helpless. We felt like, what do we do? You know, we, we can't let this go on. You know, we have to be their voice. And in the beginning, you know, a lot of the family members didn't want to come forward because we know how CDC intimidates the family members. And, you know, this is the chance that, you know, Dolores and I, we were willing to take and, and you know, we came up with the group and that's how we came up with California Families to Abolish Solitary Confinement. Yeah. And that's our goal, you know. And here, yes. here we are, you know, we were back here two years ago and, and here we are again. And, you know, like I said, I stand here as a proud wife, you know, because of what my husband did and what the other speaker had said is what CDC, what, the, what they fear of these men is their intelligence. You know, and, and that's why they are. You could call them whatever, call my husband whatever you want, a gang leader, whatever. You could call him whatever you want. But you know what? I am so proud of him and the rest of them who endured this hunger strike again. You know? So I, I guess I could say I'm a proud wife of a gang leader. Call me, like I said, call me what you want. You know, uh, I'm going to stand here and, 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 and take it. And again, I'm so proud. We're not going to give up. The struggle continues. And, you know, this is only the beginning of the struggle. I mean, I, hopefully we'll have many, many more of this, and hopefully one day we could turn around and say, you know, it has ended, no more solitary confinement. And I would love to be back here to say that, you know, this is ended. And I would also like to thank, you know, Dolores. I mean, Dolores and I, like I said, when we started, uh, when I met Dolores, she was a crazy lady in an orange jumpsuit, and I said, who's this lady? you know, out there in the streets and stuff, and look at, you know, now we're partners together, and you know, I met Sylvia, and, and just what this, what the men have done for the outside, how they've gotten us all together. You know, I, with the mediation team, the PHS team, and everybody, I mean, it's, it's another family. You know, we've all bonded, and we all have this relationship, and you know, we're gonna continue. So again, I thank everybody for being here, and you know, I know my husband and the rest of them are so proud of everybody who has stood up, you know, and been a voice for them. So again, thank you.